What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. Today we're gonna talk about short sellings. A lot of people are asking me, well, if you're a beginner, how to start short sell? At the beginning of my career, as I get into the stock market, there's long and there's short. So there's two ways to do the market. Going long, uh, the maximum you can lose is 100%. So if you bought a stock and stock goes to zero, then you lose 100%. But for short sale, it's completely different. Let's say short at $1 and the stock went to 100, then you're instantly down 10,000% of your original position. There is a potential risk that you might blow up your entire account or you maybe owe brokerage money. A lot of people probably heard about you will blow up your entire account and people get scared about it. But as a beginner, if you wanted to learn short sale, you have to focus on risk management as priority, especially in penny land or penny stock market. Now, the second thing we're gonna talk about, uh, short selling, simply you have to focus on risk reward, either is one to two or one to three, maybe you are risking 30 cents to make a dollar, you're making 40 cents to make 1.2 uh, dollar. If you're going long, risk management is also important as well, but on short sale, you cannot let your losses to infinitely run because eventually it has more risk than long. That's why a lot of people are scared of short selling. But if you have the correct ma risk management, I think there's more edge in short sell, in my personal opinion, in short sell than going long because I've tracked multiple patterns. Uh, long also works, short also works, but I think short works better for me. I think it has a little bit more edge. There's more things to be careful about. In penny land, there's going to be a lot of hypes. 2016 was a week, 2017 was Bitcoin. 2018 was Bitcoin and 2019 was another biotech. All those things are ran by low flows. They have a really low supply and the demand is really high. So when there is overwhelm of demand, overwhelm the supply, then the price range will jump significantly in short amount of time. And that's how low flow works. And low flow is very dangerous for short sale. A lot of people trying to make that big money on short sale into micro floats and that if you don't have enough experience if you don't have good risk management you, it's really really easy to blow up your account if you started short selling never try to short into a micro flow uh, unless at least you watch 50 examples and that already happened and you can try to find some kind of pattern in there but most of the time there's short squeezes like rkda bpth and drys those tickers if you screw up once and you let the losses run then you will screw your entire career no matter long or short, you need to figure out the psychology behind long and short because you need to manipulate the other side to be able to get your risk reward. For example, so let's say the stock has been consolidated into a dollar area and once the two dollar cracks, most of the long will panic and you can really short into that crack and you expecting more panic. That's one of the psychology that you can learn from the longs. And going short, uh, you can also see, okay, well, short size in this area, so I maybe know the risk level of the shorts. If that level specifically broke, then you can start going long, then short squeeze will come. Uh, so learning long and short, make sure you learn the psychology of both sides. It will give you a significant advantage trading the market. Here's some brokers that I recommend for short setting. So Cobra, Trade Zero, CenterPoint, Sure Trader sometimes has borrows as well, uh, and Speed Traders. Different brokers have different advantage. So go ahead and do your research. Different broker, they have different fees as well. So make sure which one fits you the best. So the Duck Center DVD will be ending the pre-sale in the next month. So make sure to grab your opportunities and that will be the video of today. And I will see you guys next week.